Okay. It is the 26th of January, 2015. And we have uh, what is the biggest snowstorm of the year thus far. Bearing down on us right now. I've caught a bit of a break between the snow bands at the moment. This is approaching from the uh, southwest. And uh, I'm going to try and keep the driveway as clear as possible, obviously. I'm the only one home at the moment. Now, I cleared everything down to about here, about an hour ago, and uh, not terribly deep, but I mean, entirely covered already, so I don't really know what use this is. Gotta try and uh, keep things open for my mother to come home, because that car has absolutely zero chance of making up even the slightest bit of traction in even this powdery stuff. So when this really starts to accumulate and pack down, I don't think this is going to happen. <laughs> but I don't know if I should bother with the path or not. And of course, underneath all of this, there are the remnants of storm we had on Friday into Saturday. And it is Monday, <laughs> so no time for melting. Temperatures didn't really get too high above freezing um, yesterday, Sunday, so. recovery time from this. See if we can have an eyeball here and see how much has accumulated so far. I don't know, about half an inch. But yeah, relative break in the snowfall take advantage of it. This primary concern is down there at the bottom of the hill that the traction zone basically. You can get a grip on that and build up momentum you'll make it up the hill. Had uh, my car out for a very little while this morning before things really started to accumulate and this really doesn't fare much better in any sort of snow especially because the tires are pretty well rooted Troubling all this stuff up here is okay. So when you get down there on the slope, things start to get interesting. It's actually pretty easy to lose your balance and fall down there.
and I'm getting onto that slope. So of course, things are a bit slippery now. And as you can see, there's a little bit of compacted snow and some ice underneath. So it makes it all the more interesting. The snow plows really have been through here. Actually, I don't think any plows have been through here, but it doesn't make much of a difference. We've got proper blizzard conditions forecast for a little later on today. It's about, uh, about 9.30 or so right now. By one o'clock, they're expecting blizzard conditions possibly total whiteout conditions by three or four. So yeah, definitely not looking forward to this one. Estimates for total accumulation range uh, from between anywhere from 8 inches to 28 inches. So, this is fun. <laughs> and it's going to be fun. And in metric we're talking about about 0.3 meters all the way up to almost 1 meter. So, yeah. And of course the snow drifts, because you can see the wind is already driving a lot of this stuff. Maybe exceeding 50, 60 inches. So, one and a half, two meters. <laughs> Which for coastal New Jersey, is quite unusual. <laughs> Now, what's going to become a little bit of a, a question later on is uh, which shovel to use. This one is all plastic, but it's quite rigid. I've got another one that has a, a steel blade across the end here. It actually comes to a fairly sharp edge, but uh, it's not as rigid as this one. There's a bit more flex in it. So. That'll become a pertinent question a little later on as this stuff accumulates more. I mean, as you can see, it's not really doing much of anything right now. There's more snow flying off the sides of houses than there is coming from the sky, so that's good. This stuff is going to be relatively heavy, I think. It's not terribly cold. It's about uh, 28 or so Fahrenheit. So, I don't know, minus 2 degrees C. So it's not terribly cold. The snow's not going to be dry. So it might actually get rather heavy. In which case, obviously tree limbs and uh, roofs might start to be of concern. However, for the moment, very light and powdery. Not a very good packing type. And we're starting to get into the area that wasn't cleared the last time, so. Yeah. I'm not gonna fight with the rest of that. Probably gonna be doing this uh, maybe six more times today, depending on how many more breaks we get to keep this stuff from piling up too much because it's, like I said, going to be quite substantial for this part of the world.
course, uh, anybody asking the intelligent question of why not put down some rock salt or some sort of some sort of alcohol-based compound? Well, we didn't plan that far ahead, and uh, we seldom do. So we will be the idiots out here with a sheet of ice underneath as we're attempting to clear out tomorrow or Wednesday morning, <laughs> whenever this thing finally blows through. So, it's relatively clear for now. Somebody's fired up a snowblower briefly down the street a bit. So, I wish we had one of those, but uh, we don't. So, uh, that's about what we're contending with. There's that other shovel I talked about before. I used it earlier on to clear some of this stuff. You can see it's got that edge on it, a steel edge, but uh, it's a bit less rigid. It's about got a bit of a deeper scoop profile in there as well, but uh, I don't know which one is going to be more effective later on. I like that uh, one I was just using a little lighter as well, but oh, who knows? Definitely some interesting times ahead in the next few hours.